Hey guys, college football's about to start, and I just want to give you my preview of the Kansas State Wildcats. Well guys, K-State had some problems during the offseason, mainly due to the Miami scandal. Because the Brown brothers were on a list of 72 players that might have received improper benefits from a former Miami booster who is now serving 20 years in prison. But now the Brown brothers have been cleared to play for the Wildcats this year, so I'm happy for that. So, the schedule is uh, really winnable this year with some tough games here and there, uh, but mainly winnable. I predict K State going 8 and 4 this year with a 5 and 4 record in conference play. Uh, if we can pull an upset here or there, we can easily go uh, nine and three. But if we slip, uh, have some of the winnable games slip through our fingers, we could easily go six and six. But I predict K State going eight and four with a five and four record, conference record, eight and four. Yeah, yeah. Our first game was at home against Eastern Kentucky. I think K State can. Uh, Put a big, a big amount of points on uh, Eastern Kentucky and blow them out. So I think we'll beat Eastern Kentucky handily. Our next game is also at home against Kent, Kent State. I think we can put a good amount of points on Kent State and win as well. Our next game is at Miami. I think we'll win a close game against Miami but if Miami have uh, well, has distractions and stuff well, then we can probably uh, put a, a big a whole bunch of points on Miami and win big but I think we'll win a close game against against Miami our next game is at home against the Baylor Bears in our first conference game I think we'll win a close game against Baylor. Our next game is at home as well against the Tigers of Missouri. I think we'll lose to my, to Missouri, but we could probably pull an upset against Miami. But we have to play really, really well against Missouri to pull an upset. But I'll, I predict Missouri beating us again this year. Our next game is, again, is at Texas Tech. I think Texas Tech will be this again this year. The last civil meetings, if I, the last civil meetings I remember, they put a whole bunch of points on us. So I think I think Texas Texas Tech will again be this this year. Our next game is at Kansas. Uh, I think we'll kill uh, Kansas again this year. I don't think KU's that that good again this year. So I think we'll. Uh, put a big whooping on Kansas unless we get cocky and choke away this game but I think I don't think we will so I think we beat Kansas again this year our next game is at home against the number one Oklahoma I think Oklahoma will beat, uh, beat us again this year our next game is at Oklahoma State I think they will beat us again this year because they're a really, really good team this year. Our next game is uh, against Texas A&M at home. I think we'll win, pull an upset, and beat A&M this year. Our next game is at Texas. I think we'll beat Texas again for the fourth straight time and. Uh, extend our record to 7-5 against the Mighty Longhorns. Okay, our next game is our final game, which we come home to play Iowa State. I think we can beat Iowa State this year as well. So that's our schedule. So, our positions, I'm going to talk about our position. Uh, each, each position, position. Our quarterback uh, position ain't very well this year uh, again because we kind of stink in the passing area for a while now. I don't think 
I think it will get better a little bit, but not very much. I think uh, I think Cullen Klein will be the starter for us this year for most of the games, uh, and I think uh, uh, Justin Tug will be our backup with a few starts here and there. Our halfback possession will be loaded again, loaded again this year with uh, uh, Bryce Brown as our starter starting running back. I think he'll be the starting running back this year. Uh, our fullback, I think, will be Brendan Wilson. Uh, I think that our tight end starter will be Travis Tannehill. Our uh, uh, offensive line should be could need. Uh, I think our offensive line should be should need more improvement because they kind of. Stunk last year. They weren't the best, but they weren't really, really good. But they were decent, but I think they need improvement. Our right receivers will be will be good this year, I think, with Chris Harper and uh, Broderick Smith and Sheldon Smith and uh, Tremaine Thompson as our wide receivers. So our defense needs improvement. I think really really more improvement uh, our defensive line needs way improvement because we were second uh, 119th in total run defense uh, we need to improve that on that uh, our linebackers just got better they were good last year but they just got better this year with Arthur Brown starting for us at linebacker. I think he'll be starting at linebacker this year. So, our cornerbacks are good with David Garrett as a returning starter. Uh, our safeties are really good this year with Tyson Hartman and Ty, Ty Zimmerman. Uh, they're, they're good will be good this year because they have really good experience. Our kicker uh, it will be Anthony Gantel as our kicker and our punter will be uh, Ryan Dort. So that's our kicker and punter. I think uh, this team is a l more improved from last year's team but uh, not by much but they're Better, I think better than last year. I think this would be a good year, a really good year for us. So, uh, all we can do, I can dream of, we, I can dream of better. So, but we have to work with what we got right now, which is a really good team, I think. So, this is about it for me for now. So, see you guys later. Go stay and emo.